right. Good to see you, Mr. Yeah. Oliver. Tomorrow uh, is my birthday. Oh, my gosh. You will be how old? 25 years old? No. <laughs> Eight Nine. years old. How old? Eight years old. Eight years old. Well, your English is great for eight years old, Oliver. That's wonderful. How is Tommy? Hey, Tommy, how are you? Tommy is in outer space like teacher Brendan. <laughs> Tommy, how was the school this past week? It was good? Yeah. All right. Victor, did you turn your microphone on? <coughs> Hello, Victor. So, Victor, I'm going to play your audio clip in just a moment, okay? Because you did a really nice job. You have a soft voice, but your reading is really clear and, and very good. Very good, Victor. I like it. How about Diana? How are you, Diana? Is the microphone working? I'm great. How are you? I'm pretty good. I'm enjoying a nice sunny day in West Japan. Hey, Diana, you have a blue ceiling. That's really cool. It looks like the sky. I wish I could do that with my ceiling. <laughs> All right, let's see, we have uh, Kevin, are you there with the big K, Kevin? Yes. Hey, Kevin, your Vietnamese name is Min, right? Yes. Min. Okay, I just listened to your recording this morning. It's good. We have to work on that word New York for everybody. Uh, we have to say New York. And thanks. So we have to practice that with everybody, okay? So we have yeah. to practice New York and thanks. All right, Ken with the angel's halo. How are you, Ken? Are you a perfect angel today? Means your behavior is all good yeah. all the time? Yeah. How was school, Ken? Ken, your eyes turn white. Oh, my gosh. That's kind of like a not an angel anymore. It's kind of demon-like. <laughs> Very interesting. Mr. Bear, Bear, I have to listen to your audio. I'm sorry I didn't listen to it, but I pro promise I'll listen to it. Mr. Bear, how are you today? Uh, fine. Hey, Bear, can you get me some medicine behind you? <laughs> I have my Japanese medicine. I think I showed you before. EX, if you catch a cold, you can try your EX. It's pretty good. Or FX, it's called FX in a purple box. But do you see it's right on the nose? It means it's good for your nose if you have a cold. So, all right. How about Mr. Jimmy? Jimmy, are you there? Yes. How are you today, Jimmy? Oh, I'm fine. Just... Jimmy, you always have complicated stuff. What is going on in your uh, your screen avatar? What is that? Uh, yes. it, it looks like some kind of magic. It's Roblox. Oh, you know it, Anna? Rolox. Where is Rolox from? Is it manga, anime, computer games? Anna, is Rolox a good guy or a bad guy? Anna, where are it's, you? It's Rolox. It's Ro Roblox, not Rolox. Oh, Roblox. Roblox. And is it a good person or a bad thing or a good thing, Roblox? It is created by each person. Oh, okay. So you it's like using AI to create your own character? Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought Jimmy got that from Japanese manga or something. Let's see. Yeah. Roblox. Thanks, Anna. R-O-B-L-O-X. Roblox. I should try it sometimes. Kwang Ta, you just game. joined. It's yeah. A it's a game. Ah. Tai, are you there? I see... Tai Kwang or Kwang Tai. Check your microphone, Tai, so everybody gets a chance to speak. Hello. Yes. How are you? Um, good. Good. Yeah. How was school this week? Are you a genius? No. Yeah. In math, no. science. No. Are you trying hard? Are you studying a lot? Yes. That's good, Kwang Tai. Good to hear. Good to hear. All right, everybody. We're five minutes into class, so I want to play a video clip, an audio clip. 
And this is Victor's Reading, which I really liked it. I just listened to it. And Bear, we can listen to Bears too, everybody. So let's go to uh, Mr. Victor so we can check this homework. And I also want to try Diana. Um, we have Bear in the Pharmacy. I love that. And we have Anna Lee. We have some homeworks we have to check here, you guys. So let's see. With the homework, I can really hear you guys clearly. Um, and so where is that Mr. Victor? Victor, where are you? Uh, there's Victor. Okay, so uh, let's see. Kai Min, also really good. I'm Victor. This is my homework. Well, where is your homework, Victor? Victor is under uh, Khan Vin. Okay, here you go. Please listen to Victor, everybody, because even though Victor's voice is soft, he did a really nice job on this homework. So let's listen to this. Good evening, teacher. And this is my record of my homework. Kate sometimes travels to New York for business trips. She is a business person who works as a senior manager for McDonald's. Her husband, Bill, sometimes worries about her because she travels to New York alone. Before she leaves the house very early in the morning to catch her flight to New York, Bill tells her, be sure to call me when you get to New York. Kate answers, don't worry, Bill. I always call you. Then Bill gives her the McDonald's ID to enter the New York office. He says, don't forget your ID. Kate answers, all right. I always forget that. Thank all right. And so, thanks. Victor, nice work. Um, did you, everybody hear Victor got that New York? His New York was really good on that one. So, New York. So, please, if you're um, practicing with these clips, listen to Victor. He's on Yalo, you guys. You can listen to Victor's voice and practice if your mom or dad wants you to do some more homework. And uh, let's go to Diana, whose name is Moon. Let's listen to Diana here. Hi, teacher Brendan. I'm Diana, and this is my homework. Kate sometimes travels to New York for business trips. She's a business person who works as a senior manager for McDonald's. Her husband, Bill, sometimes worries about her because she travels to New York alone. Before she leaves the house very early in the morning to catch a flight to New York, Bill tells her, be sure to call me when you get to New York. Kate answers, don't worry, Bill. I always call you. Then Bill gives her the McDonald's ID to, in to enter the New York office. He says, don't forget your ID. Kate answers, all right. I always forgot, forget that. Thank uh all right. Hey, um, Deanna, you have a slight British accent, but that's okay. It's very charming. Don't worry about it. Uh, let me see where Deanna, do you have British teachers at your school? Do you have like a, from England or Australia? My English teacher is from South Africa. Oh, South Africa. Yeah. Okay. It's fine, Deanna, if you have a slight British accent, it's very charming, so don't worry about it. Uh, for example, New York, Americans say New York with a strong note, New York, right? We say New York. It's, it's, it's actually very stylish, so don't change it, Deanna. It's fine if you want to say New York that way. But it was a wonderful presentation, by the way, Deanna. Tell your mom you did a great job. I'm pretty happy with that. And then I want to check with Mr. Bear. Bear, are you there? Bear, let's give Bear a listen to. Hello, Victor Brandon. My name is Bear, and this is my homework. <clears throat> First, kids sometimes travel to New York for a business trips. He is a business person who works as a senior manager for McDonald's. Her bus husband, Bill, sometimes worries that about her because she travels to New York alone. Before she leaves the house very early in the morning to catch her flight to New York, Bill tells her, 
Be sure to call me when you get to New York. <laughs> Kate answered. Don't worry, Bill. I always call you. Then Bill gave her smartphone ID to enter the New York office. He said, "Don't forget your ID." Kate answered. All right, I always forget that. Thanks, Bill. Okay. Um, let's see that one for Bear. Bear, can you say that word again? Alone. Can you say alone? Alone. Oh. Yeah, alone. You have to say it slowly. So you say she travels to New York alone. Alone. I know it sounds strange, but if you say alone, it's real fast. A lot like that. It sounds like Southeast Asia English. You want to say alone, right? It's kind of crazy, Bear, but you have to do those like alone, okay? And there's just one more, Anna Lee. I want to check yours because you sent one also, and I think I listened to this already, but I want to listen one more time to Anna Lee. And let's find Anna Lee here. She says, there's Victor, there's uh, Convin, and there's uh, somebody is having a problem with their audio. There's Mr. Oliver just sent his. <laughs> let's see, Anna Lee, here we go. Listen to Anna Lee, everybody. Kate sometimes travels to New York for business trips. She is a business person who works as a senior manager for McDonald's. Her husband, Bill, sometimes worries about her because she travels to New York alone before she leaves the house house very early in the morning to catch her flight to New York. Bill tells her, be sure to call me when you get to New York. Kate answers, don't worry, Bill. I always call you. <laughs> then Bill gives the McDonald's ID to enter, enter the New York office. He says, don't forget your ID, Kate answers. All right. I always forget that. Thanks, Bill. <laughs> Wonderful. Anna Lee, that was really good. I'm, I'm laughing because it's really charming the way you read Anna Lee. Uh, the New York and the alone was perfect. So tell your mom you're doing a great job. You've got that American style. Hello, Candy. Nice to see you. How are you? Candy, how was your microphone? Oh, I'm fine. Yeah, how was school this week? I'm asking everybody, how was school? Um, is fine. Yeah. Is April a busy month at school? Do you have to study a lot for April and May? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I already have the final test at school. Oh, my gosh. So what are you going to do for May, Candy? Are you going to study more or? I will study at um, home. Do yeah. more homework. Yeah. Do you have a lot of homework, Candy? Yes. Yeah. I think you guys all have a lot of homework. So in Vietnam, like the cities are really hot in May, June, July, August. So do you stay in the air conditioned room and study? Yes. Yeah, I think that's best. And have some nice drinks to help you study. What do you like to drink, Candy? Um, I like watermelon juice. Ooh, but very I good. usually drink water. Hey, Candy, in Vietnam, do you put a little salt in the watermelon juice? Um, I put sugar. Oh, sugar. Oh, my gosh. Um, Americans put a little salt in there because it's good for your body in summer because the body needs a little bit more salt in summer. But it also makes the watermelon have a really nice taste. Uh, but, you know, Candy, I worked with these people from Africa like 35 years ago, and they used to put green spicy pepper into ginger ale, ginger sugar drink. I thought that was really strange, but they said that's good for hot weather also. Hot spicy peppers and like 7-Up or lemon soda. So I thought that was really interesting. <laughs> All right, you guys, we have today's lesson, and today's lesson is this question and response part two. So here is the intonation, and I changed this for you guys because I wanted it to be fun. For the adults class, we did um, going to Paris, but I want you guys to go to a special place. So I'm going to show you. Do you know this place, you guys? There it is in Natrang. It is... Yeah. 
Yes. yes. Yes, you know this place. What's Good the job. name? Of yes, Oliver. Uh, Good job. My hometown is that place. Oh, Ken, your uh, hometown is not trying. Now, you say not trying, right? You have to help teacher with his pronunciation. Not trying, right? Not trying. Very good, Ken. Uh, yeah. yeah, you guys know that. So, I'll tell you what. Uh, I know this place. I know this place. Hey, Oliver, can you read this first part here? Can you read for us? Yes, teacher. Okay, here we go, Oliver. Hello, everyone. I hope you're... Day was good. Tonight mm. we will practice both questions and responses or intonation patterns. Yeah. We did this last week with the comment and style. So tonight lesson is a continuation of yeah. this type of intonation. This yes. is a important point. Because it's made communication mm -hmm. in our Zoom lesson easier because we can make sense of things with, with good intonation and we can also use this type of question to respond in to nation your family. What? What good intonation the other person will understand what you are talking about. Yeah, so look at all those big words, Oliver. We have continuation, intonation, communication, all these shun words. What that means is if you're using stresses in your voices to go up and down, it makes it easier to understand what you are saying. Even if you say, oh, she's from New York, and they say, New York, I don't understand what the person is saying. You say, oh, she's from New York. Then when you go up on New York or she's from Ho Chi Minh City, you can catch words with the intonation. Okay, so let's see. Tommy raised his hand. Tommy, are you there? Yes, always. Hey, Tommy, did you have a question? <laughs> I like how you said always. You'll always be there, Tommy. <laughs> hey, Tommy, can you read this sentence here? Yeah, why not? Okay. Okay, so imagine you want to take a student at your school and who is also your new friend uh, to Vin Wonders in Natron. Someone asked you some questions about the trip. Um, this of you guys is a mistake. It shouldn't be there, but I don't think I can, I can't correct that on a, um, on a uh, PDF file. You know what, I'm going to change from PDF to a different file. One moment, please, you guys. Uh, questions and respond. Let me try this one. It's better. Uh, no, no, no. That's the old one for the adults class. We don't want that one. Um, one moment, please. Intonation, American accent in syllabus. Raise, raise, no. Requesting raise. Intonation questions. Young learners. Yes, that's it. Okay, one moment, please. And let me make sure I'm on the right one. Yeah, this is good, you guys. Okay, because it's uh, almost all not strong information. So I'm going to stop this share and I'm going to try one more time. Sorry about this. And pages here. Uh, how it happened? No, 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 no. That's not what we want. Sorry. One moment, please. Okay, this is what we want. And share. Sorry, we're having a little bit of problems with Zoom Zoom. Okay, you guys, this is what we want to say for today, the Vim Bunders lesson. Okay, so just looking at the pictures, um, let's go to Jimmy, are you there? Hello, Jimmy. Um, yes. Please. Hey, Jimmy, have you been to Not Train? No. Okay, where do you live? Uh, I live in Vietnam. Yeah. And can you go to one of these Vin Wonders amusement parks? No. No? Do you want to go? No. Why not? Because I don't like amusement park. Uh, Jimmy, you told me before, what do you like to do for fun? 
playing games. Um, do what? Playing video games. Oh, playing video games. Do you like to stay inside then? What? Do you like to stay inside your house? Yes. Okay, that's fine, Jimmy. Let's ask Anna Lee. Anna Lee, have you been to this Vin Wonders? Yes, I have been there. Which one? There are so many in Vietnam. Was it Na Trang or another one? I went to Win Wonder in the gym. Okay. Was it really good or so so? Or? It's kind of good and uh, it's fun. Okay. Was it, um, were there a lot of people? Uh, because that was, um, I went, uh, I went, um, in the morning, and then in the afternoon, it's kind of like it's kind of hot, and everybody went home. But I keep still playing. Oh, uh, if it gets really hot, can you go to the water park that they have? Uh, the water park at that time was um, fixing. It yeah. says that to six a.m. and it, it's it is finished. Oh, all right. So the one in Not Trang, um, somebody said they've been there. Was it, uh, I forget, Oliver said, I've been there. Um, and Ken said, he, he's been there. The water park here, I'll point the thing. This is on the ocean, right? So it's salt water? I think so. Yeah, so, it, you know, like, it probably doesn't break. If it's, if it's in another city, maybe they use fresh water. So that's why they closed it to fix it, Anna? I don't know. Okay. By the way, let me check with Mr. Kevin. Are you there? Kevin, Nguyen Kevin. Kevin with the K. <laughs> Hello, Kevin. Yes. Hey, yes. Kevin, do you see my pointing arrow? What is this amusement ride called? Uh, 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 did it, um, uh, uh, Big Wheel Cycle. Yeah, Big View Cycle. Actually, it's called Ferris Wheel. F-E-R-R-I-S, Ferris Wheel. And that was um, designed by Dr. Ferris in my hometown, Chicago, in 1893 was the world's first Ferris Wheel, all right? So it's kind of cool. Hey, Victor, do you see this? What do you call this amusement ride or attraction? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm not sure. Um, we call it just the swings, just the swings. And um, I don't really like the swings because when I was 14 years old, I was on some swings, you know, Victor, and there are four chains for each swing. And this was a really old swing. And one of the chains broke, Victor, and I had to hold like this. So I really, I don't like swings. I was so afraid that I was going to fall. All right, you guys, here are the questions for today. Victor, you you did a great job. Deanna did a great job. All of you did a really good job, but I'm just found uh, three people who did a especially good job were Victor and Anna and uh, listening to your things, Deanna. Um, let's see, who can help? Deanna, would you like to ask Brendan Teacher one, two, three, four, five? Let's just do five and then I'll change to another student. These are the questions for the uh, Vin Wonders in Na Trang, okay? So would you like to ask or answer, at Deanna? What do you think? Oh, Deanna, your microphone is having a little problem. Let's see, is Zoom okay? Can you hear me? Yeah, now you're good, Deanna. Okay, Deanna, would you like to ask me or would you like to respond? Um, answer. Oh, okay, so no. answer. Is Sorry. It, yeah. So, Deanna, where are you planning to go on vacation? We're planning to go to Van Wonders in Yachang. How long will you be staying there? We'll be staying for just one day. What are some must do attractions at the park? The Ferris Wheel is a must-do attraction, and we have to also visit the water park. Have you bought your tickets yet? Yes, we've already bought tickets for everything. Are you planning to go on the swings? Yes, we're thinking of going on the swings, but they make me sick sometimes. Good, all right, nice. Hey, Oliver, would you like to ask me the questions and I will respond? Okay, so if you ask the question, I'll give a response. 
you want to try? Oliver. Oh, he disappeared, you guys. <laughs> yes, teacher. All right, Oliver, ask me these questions in the blue, and I will give an answer, okay? Someone, where? But be careful, Oliver, you have to turn on your microphone. Oliver, turn on your microphone. <laughs> where are you planning to go on vacation? We're, We're planning pl to go, oh no, I read the answer. We're planning to go to Vin Wonders in Na Treng. Are you planning to go to on a vacation? Uh, we're planning to go to Vin Wonders in Na Treng. How long will you stay there? We'll be staying for just one day. What are the must-do attraction at the park? The Ferris wheel is a must-do attraction, and we have to also visit the water park. Have you bought uh, your ticket yet? Yes, we've already bought tickets for everything. Are you planning to go to on the swing? Yes, we're thinking of going on the swings, but they make me sick sometimes. All right, good, Oliver. Let's go to Ken. Hey, Ken and Candy. Ken and Candy, are you there? Yes. And Candy, would you guys like to do this? All right, so Ken, you ask and Candy answer. Let me listen to your pronunciation, okay? Uh, teacher, I ask or I answer? You can ask and then Candy can answer and I'm going to listen for good pronunciation. Okay. Where are you planning to go on vacation? And Candy, uh, we're planning here. Oh, um, we are planning to go to the Vin Wonders in Nha Trang. And next, Ken. Uh, how long will you be there? Be staying there. Good. Um. We will be stay for just one day. What are the first two attraction at the park? The Paris will is a must do attraction and we have to also visit the water park. Uh, have you bought the ticket? Yes. Yes, I already bought tickets for everything. Uh, are you planning to go on the swings? Yes, we are thinking of going on swimming, but they can they make me sing sometimes. Yeah, Ken, you could say they can make me sick sometimes. That's okay to do that way too. Hey, Tommy, you raised your hand. Are you there? Yeah. Hey, Tommy, do you want to try? Yes. Okay, you ask the questions, I'll answer. Let's try again. Yeah. Where are you planning to go on vacation? We're planning to go to Vin Wonders in Na Treng. How long will you be staying here? We'll be staying for just one day. What are some must-do attractions at the park? The Ferris wheel is a must-do attraction, and we have to also visit the water park. Oh, the ticket yet? Yeah, we've already bought tickets for everything. Are you planning to go on the swing? Yeah, we're thinking of going on the swings, but they make me sick sometimes. Have okay. you looked into staying in the hotel for the night? We're considering staying overnight, but we're not sure. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. Hey, Victor, are you there? Victor and Deanna, can you help me? Can you do the six... Uh, six, nine, ten. Um, Victor, if you ask Deanna, can you answer for six, seven, eight, nine, ten? Okay. <clears throat> and how about Victor? You can ask, and then Deanna, you can answer. Have you looked into you staying in a hotel for the night? So, oh, 
Okay, Diana. We're considering staying overnight, but we're not sure. What other activities can you enjoy while in Yachang? We might explore the local markets and try some Yacha food. Do you have any travel tips for your day trip? Well, we're going to bring some stomach medicine and some sun protection cream. Have you checked the weather forecast for your destination? Yes, it looks like sunny sky for most of the week. What souvenirs do you plan to buy? We might buy some Ben Wonders toy, like stuffed, stuffed animals. Very good, Deanna. Stuffed animals. The most difficult one for the students, Um, what other activities can you enjoy while in Nitring? Victor, thank you for helping me with my own pronunciation and also Deanna. Nha Trang. I have to practice my Vietnamese. Nha Trang. Americans say Nha Trang. You can say Nha Trang like that. Nha Trang. Very nice. Thanks, you guys. Anna Lee and Quang Tai, are you there? Ms. Anna Lee. Anna yes. Lee? Anna Lee, would you like to be A? And Quang Tai, would you like to be B? Uh, a person ask and then B person answers. Uh, Quang Tai, are you there? Yes. Okay, let's try. Anna, will you ask and then uh, Kuang Tai answer? Let's try that. Have you looked into staying in a hotel for a night? We... We're considering? We're considering staying overnight, but we're not sure. Good, good. What other activities can you enjoy while in the chow? We might explore the location, local markets and try some Nha Chang food. Do you have any travel tips for your day trip? Well, we go on to bring some stomach medicine and some sun protection screen. Mm -hmm. mm. Have you checked the weather forecast for your destination? Yes, it looked like sunny for most of the week. What souvenirs do you plan to buy? We might buy some Vin Wonder toy like stuffed animal. Really nice, Anna Lee and um, Kwang Tai. Really, really, really good. I'm really happy. By the way, there's the not trained food. Uh, let's see, who can we ask? Mr. Ken. Do you know this not trying food? No. It's a barbecue, but what's on the oh, barbecue charcoals? You do know it? Oliver knows it. What is that? I eat it on already. Yeah? So what is the seafood called? It has a special name. Do you know? I eat it, but I don't know the name. Okay. <laughs> Very sweet, Oliver. Squid, you guys. Squid. What is squid? Do you guys know squid? Yeah, yeah. I yeah. eat squid. I like every uh, yeah. days in the beach. At the beach, yeah. Who is that, Jimmy, you were saying that? Yeah. Okay, you guys, I want to get a squid, a picture of a squid. Do you know there are all kinds of squid? Hey, Jimmy, do you know the giant, huge squid? The, the one they find in the deep ocean? Yeah, they... Uh, yes, yes, I know. Giant squid, giant squid. There it's so Yeah, there's the giant one. This is the one everybody eats. This one or this one, right? And you I saw the baby one. Oh, a baby! That's cute. There's the giant one, you guys. That's crazy. Giant. That is. Do you think that's scary, Oliver? No. No. Okay. Hey, bear. You have a question, Mr. Bear. Uh, the things that the uh, the Nha Chang food, I think, is oysters. Oysters. Oh, okay. Let's check oysters, you guys. Thanks, Bear. Bear, you and I are going to practice in just a second. I promise. Oysters. There they are. Um, 
in Japan, we eat these kind of oysters with lemon and they put that on the barbecue. So I don't know, Bear, do you think those are um, oysters on the barbecue natrang? Let's type in natrang. So it's N-H-A-T-R-A-N-G. You guys N-G. Not- N-G oysters. There they are. Oh my gosh, you guys, it looks so delicious. I want to go to natrang. <laughs> oh, I got with shrimp too, you guys. Oh my gosh. At the Internet Continental Hotel in Natrang. Okay, hey Bear, do you want? Yeah, yeah, what up? I know oh, a bigger, a bigger squid. Yeah. All right. I know uh, a oh, a bigger squid. Oh, even bigger squid! <laughs> oh my God, a giant yeah. squid! Hey Bear. Well, Mm, yes. I need Bear to practice and Jimmy to practice. Okay, wait one sec, Oliver. I have to ask Jimmy and Bear to uh, practice here. Oh. Bear, can you um, read the question? And then Jimmy, can you answer? I want to read the question. Okay, you do question, Jimmy. Bear, you answer. Oh, uh, how long will be? Uh, how long you? How long will you be staying there? Yeah, how long will you be staying, uh, Bear? is the under. Oh, you're at number two? Yeah, okay, I get it. Oh. So. What do you think, Bear? We'll uh, be I staying. think it's the number six. I know, I know. But Bear jumped num- back to number two. Uh, Jimmy jumped back to number two. Oh. Hey, Jimmy, do you want to try number six? Have you looked into staying in a hotel for the night? We're considering staying overnight, but we're not sure. What other activities can you enjoy while in Nyachang? We might explore the local markets and try some Nyachang food. Do you have any travel tips for your day trip? Well, we are going to bring some stomachache medicine and some sun protection cream. Um, the, have you checked the weather forecast for your destination? Yes, it looks like sunny skies for most of the weeks. Uh, yeah. well, what souvenirs? Do you plan to buy? We might, oh. might buy some wind wonders toys like stuffed animals. Yeah, Bear and Jimmy, do you guys understand that word souvenirs? Yes. Yeah. How do you say that in Vietnamese? Do you say souvenirs there or a different word? Uh, different words. Okay, yeah, because you know souvenirs is a French word and the French were in Vietnam for like 50 years actually 70 years so maybe i thought they left the word souvenir in your country bring back small gifts for people hey bear what would be a good souvenir from vin wonders what would you bring a friend or uh, a cousin or something Mm, i think i will buy some souvenir about in uh, vin wonders toys are they the stuffed animals you know those cute little animals um, just for baby. Okay. That's why I guess stuffed animals. Another student said they would bring back a keychain. So I thought that was interesting, a keychain. Hey, Tommy, are you there? Tommy, can I ask you a question? Yes. Tommy, would you go on these swings or do you think they're scary? No, I think it's fun because I like to play yeah, but was it Anna Lee or Diana said they went in summer and it was really hot in the afternoon. So I was thinking if you went on the swings, it would be a good way to get cool. Like you could get really cool there. Yeah, very good. Yeah. And then also the water park and the Ferris wheel. Uh, hey, Tommy, can you ask me this question? This is freestyle questions now. Can you ask me this question here? Yeah. Where are you? Well, maybe it's a secret, but Ms. Duke uh, wants me to go to Vietnam, you guys, so I can 
go from city to city to meet you guys. So there's a chance that maybe I will go to Vietnam in June, Tommy. <laughs> Isn't that cool? <laughs> All right. Hey, Bear, can you ask me question number two? So, Bear, are you there? <laughs> oh, Bear, you need a microphone. You turned your microphone off. How long will you be staying there? Uh, maybe two weeks in Vietnam. It's going to be really hot. Hey, Oliver, can you ask me question number three? Yes, <laughs> Can you ask me this question, the blue question? What will you do there? Uh, I will probably teach and do some sightseeing and um, enjoy some delicious food. Very good. Hey, let's go to Jimmy. Can you ask me this question, activities? Mm -hmm. Uh, what other activities can you enjoy while you are there? Well, I want to go to Hue City because that's the old capital of Vietnam and I love history, Jimmy. So I really want to go to Hue. Nice. Hey, Ken, can you ask me this question here? Mr. Ken. Ken, are you there? What happened to Ken? Hey, Ken is back. <laughs> Ken. Can you ask me this question? Uh, what stolen souvenirs do you want to buy? Well, I don't know. I don't know what I should buy. Let's ask one of the students. Um, Victor, what souvenir should I buy if I go to Vietnam? What do you recommend? Uh, I think you should buy something that you can bring to many places, like a keychain with a picture of Vietnam or something like that. Nice. Very nice, Victor. Okay, good. And let me ask some more. Diana, what would you recommend as a good souvenir from Vietnam? Can you say again? So if I go to Vietnam in June, what should I bring back as a gift for my wife? I think it's we have, it's called non lag. Yeah. Um, it's like this. And the people in Vietnam uh, use that. Uh -huh. And what is it called? It's, is it medicine? There's not trung, by the way. It's beautiful. No, it's a hat. Oh, it's a hat. Okay, is it the traditional hat, Deanna? That's somebody's city, I think. Uh, Tommy, is that your city, not Trang? All right. It's actually a palm leaf conical hat. Oh, yeah, there you go. Uh, palm leaf kind of coke hat. Anna Lee, wonderful. Thank you so much. Hey, Anna, I found this. Are you guys ready? Very nice. A palm leaf conical hat. There they uh, are. I saw the guy wearing it. He's like smiling. <laughs> Did he look funny, Jimmy? Yeah. The guy. This, this looks really nice. I really like this one. It's on an old lady. What do you think she's doing with this hat in the hot sun, you guys? I think she's a rice farmer because this is rice. So she's somewhere in Vietnam picking rice. There it is. Oh my gosh, this guy looks like some sort of AI robot guy. He looks kind of scary actually. And there's a beautiful woman with banana, her. Banana, banana. Banana, yeah. Hey, um, Anna Lee, Anna Lee or Candy, um, Kwang Tai, what do you call the traditional silk? In Japan, they say kimono. What do you call, Candy, the traditional silk dress in Vietnam? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's beautiful. Um, Candy. This, um, kind of this woman are wearing. Yeah. Do you have one? Can you wear one or do you have to be a teenager? Um, um, all the age in Vietnam can wear um, our life. Oh, so even a little girl could wear this? Yes. Do you have one? Yes, I have one at home. What color is it? Um, my color is red. 
Oh, there she is. <laughs> hey, do you have a traditional hat? Um, no, I don't uh, have. Yeah, she has her traditional but hat. Oh my my grandmother happy. Oh my gosh, look at these beautiful women in their pinks and purples and uh, things. Let me ask a couple more of the young ladies if they have this. Diana, do you have the traditional um, thing, what this is called? I don't know what. Uh -huh. what yeah. Do you have this, Anna Lee or Diana? Okay, you guys aren't there. Oh no, what happened to them? <laughs> okay, we had Candy. Thank you, Candy, for helping me. All right, we'll stop the share because maybe the boys are more interested in computer games, right? <laughs> All right. Teacher. Yes. Teacher. Who is that? I know some more big squid. What, Oliver? You want some more pictures of the squid? Oliver, I think you love squid. A, big, a bigger squid. A bigger squid. Bear said oysters. I think you should they eat raw sink. oysters with lemon, Tommy said. They really? You'll go to the announcer, said Tommy. You should be, you should buy Ao Dai. That is, Ken, what is Ao Dai? Is the leaf hat? And yeah. full for your life. No, did you silk? Silk. Very nice. Buy some silk. But isn't silk expensive in Vietnam? It's some of the world's best silk, I think. Vietnam so can I think the it's the best rice. The best rice, Jimmy. The best rice. You know, um, everybody brings back rice from Vietnam. You guys love your rice. I have to try Vietnam rice. I only know Thailand and India, California and Japanese and Korean rice. Um, but I don't know. Uh, and Taiwan rice. But I don't know Vietnam rice. I have to try it. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to try one more thing because you guys are enjoying a free talk today and you've done your pronunciation exercise. So, yes, is that Oliver? The squid can sink some ship. <laughs> yeah, that's the crocket, you know, the giant crocket. Uh, Oliver. All right, you guys, can you tell me about some Vietnam food if I'm going to Vietnam? Tell me, what am I looking at here? Let's start with Tommy. Tommy, what's Mommy. this? Tommy, what is that? <laughs> yeah, and is it delicious? Yes. Yeah, and so I have to use the chopsticks. Banana, banana, <laughs> all right, Oliver, all right, all right. You got a banana. I can go eat a banana anywhere, Oliver. Uh, let's go to... Jimmy and Ken were there. I want to ask somebody. Um, let's go to, hey, Mr. Bear, you're there. Hey, Bear, are you there? Bear, help me with it. Bear, what is this? It's pho. Yeah, it's pho. Can you tell me what kind of pho? Um, it's the about uh, white noodles. Yeah, nice. And Bear, what do you call these leaves? How do you say these leaves in English? Oh. Basil, Basil, B A S I L. Rice noodle, rice noodle, rice noodle, rice noodle. Who's shouting that? Enough, enough. Okay, enough. Rice noodle. All right, all right, Oliver. I gotta mute that. Um, so let's see. Um, Diana and Anneli, do you know how to spell this? I'll put this in chat for you guys. So if we see the chat, um, and it's to everybody. Let me give you the spelling for these green leaves. So if you go to another country, you can make pho for your guests. It's called basil or basil. Um, mm. Italians say basiligo, but it's used in Asian and Italian and French cooking. Um, Anna Lee, are you there? Anna Lee looks sleepy. Hey, Anna Lee. <laughs> Anna Lee, what do you call these green peppers? Do you know the uh, American and Mexican name for the green peppers? I just call it pepper. Oh, pepper. Okay, so we use the Spanish word jalapeno, and the end sounds like ña, like ña tron. So these are jalapeno peppers, and these are jalapenos. You can find these in supermarkets in America. So we have basil, rice noodles. They're uh, also in Bucatala, Denmark, too. Oh, okay. So in Denmark, did you say? No, I mean in the supermarket. Yeah. In what country, Anneli? In Bucatala. Where? In Bumtown, Vietnam. Okay, yeah. And do they have all different kinds of peppers? Yeah, it's got the yellow one. 
the green oh, one and the red one. Okay. Do you know what they eat in um, Caribbean countries? First, let me show you a map of the Caribbean. You guys are good at geography, so I'm really happy. Map of the Caribbean. Mr. Brendan? Yeah. Do you like eating sushi? Yeah, I do. I love most kinds of sushi. But there's one called unagi that I don't really like because it's too pasty in my mouth. It doesn't have a really fresh taste. But you guys, this sushi. is... You love sushi. So here's um, Jamaica and Cuba and Haiti. And this is called yeah, the Caribbean. I know Jamaica. You know Jamaica, Jamaica. So the really hot pepper, if you eat it raw, it's really difficult to eat because it's so hot. It's called a scotch bonnet. And so I'm going to ask Anna Lee, when you have that market in Vietnam, do they have this yellow or orange yeah. stuff? Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. Yes, I do like it because it's hot. Isn't it really hot? Like super hot? My, my, my dad's like it. Oh my gosh. Can he eat them fresh, Annalie? Uh, we have to wash it first. Before yeah. we... But he eats them fresh, right? Because yeah. I've only had this in a sauce, Scotch bonnet sauce, and I'll show you what that looks like. It's made in Jamaica by a famous company. And so this is the sauce in the bottle. Um, this is pretty good, the crushed scotch bonnet sauce, but it's not so spicy. When they're fresh, they're really like this. If your grandmother makes this in Jamaica, that's like unbelievably uh, hot and spicy. That's okay. Peter. Uh, who is that? Is that Me? Peter? Mr. Tommy and Bear and Oliver. Where is Oliver? Bear, did you have a question or Tommy? Yes. Oh, what does he have? <laughs> Look, at, Oliver actually has a package of peppers, you guys. That's really That's funny. <laughs> Oliver, you're a funny kid. He's dancing with the peppers. <laughs> That's, really, That's really funny. Well, thank you, Oliver, for doing the pepper dance, the I love pepper dance. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Very funny boy. Okay. Um, so any questions, you guys? Because now I want to change this to ask you guys the questions. Um, go back to the main print page and we'll go back to here. So let's ask one student. Um, Kevin, are you there? I haven't heard Kevin in a while. Kevin, are you there? Mr. Kevin. Yes, yes. Kevin, I'm going to ask you this question. Um, what are you planning on doing this summer, Kevin? Um, um, my family will, will, uh, my family will, my family will, uh, visit my countryside. Yeah. What's the place's name, Kevin, the countryside? Uh, yeah. How do you spell it? Uh, P-H-U-Y, uh. P H U uh, Y E Y E N. Yeah. Okay. Let me see. I'll put it in the thing here. P H U Y E N. Phu Yin in Vietnam. Yeah, Phu Yin. Phu Yin. Vietnam. And it will correct my spelling if it's not correct. Oh, yeah. That's a beautiful place. Oh, my gosh. That's where you, um, that's your uh, hometown is what you say in English, Kevin. Let's take a look, everybody, because I think you guys have been to this place. It's a famous place. Phu Yen in um, Vietnam. Traditional boats, Kevin? Uh, yes. Kevin, this looks beautiful. Uh, oh, look at sea coral. Where's Oliver? He's going to find his squid. Starfish. <laughs> starfish, yeah. Did you see that beautiful blue starfish? Wow, what a magical place, Kevin. This looks really yeah. good. Let's see. Uh, let's see on a map, Phu Yen on a map, to see why it has such a beautiful seacoast. Um, and so... I think where... yeah, the Phu Yen is wrong. Yeah. What should it be? No, the spelling is wrong. Oh, well, the spelling is wrong. Where is it on this map, you guys? We have oh. Ho Chi Minh, Hanoi. Where is that Fu Ying? 
strange. I don't see it. There's Na Trang we talked about today. Ha, ha, ha. Fu Yin, you guys. Kevin, do you see it? I don't see Fu Yin. Um, I can know. Is it yellow, green, orange? Victor, where is Fu Yin? Can you see it? Valley. Oh, there it is. Okay, it's the pink one here. Uh, okay, so there's Na Trang we talked about today. And then Fu Yin oh. is, yeah. So we say in English, further up the coast, up north, up on the coast. So you have to leave uh, Ho Chi Minh City and you go up here to Fu Yin. Kevin, that looks like a beautiful place. I really like it. Yeah. Thanks for telling me. Yeah. All right. And so you guys, let me go back to today's lesson on the map here. And all right, let's ask another person. Um, let's ask Kuang Tai. Are you still there? Kuang Tai. Tai? Or Tai? Oh, yes. Kuang Tai, where are you going this summer with your family? I'm going to... Well, I think about it. I'm going to. <laughs> I'm going to Vin Wonders. <laughs> All, right. All right, you guys, I'm going to read this and then I want Deanna to read this. This is your homework, everybody, because we have about five more minutes. I want you to try this for your homework. It's about Jack and Min. I don't know how to say the M I N H Kwang Tai, this Min name, but I'm going to read it. Mm. Jack and Min are friends from the international school. Min's family wanted to do something special for Jack, so they invited him to go on their family vacation to Vin Wonders in Nha Trang. Jack was really excited, and he asked Min what the best rides were at Vin Wonders. In Min's opinion, the swings are a lot of fun because the seats are really high up, and the air feels really good in summer. Min always also loves the water park. He told Jack, make sure you bring a swimming suit because we'll probably spend a whole day at the water park and then we'll go and get some fresh seafood for dinner in Nha Trang. Jack smiled and responded, this sounds like it's going to be a great trip, Min. Min answered back, I think so too. I'm really excited. Deanna, would you like to try reading it for everybody? Um. Jack and Ming are friends from the international school. Ming's family wanted to do something special for Jack, so they invited him to go on their family vacation to Ben Wonders in Ye Chan. Jack was really excited, and he asked Ming what the best rides were at Ben Wonders. In Ming's Opinion, the wings are a lot of fun because the seats are really high up and the air feels really cool in summer. Ming also loves the water park. He told him, make sure you bring a swimming suit because we probably spend a whole day just at a water park. And then we'll go and get some fresh seafood dinner near Jack. Jack smiled and responded. This sounds like it's going to be a great trip, Ming. Ming answered back. I think so too. I'm really excited. Nice work. Really good. Hey, um, Bear, you raised your hand. Would you like to try to read? Um, yes. Okay. I'll tell you what, Bear, can you read half and then Tommy can read half? So if you read the blue, then Tommy uh, can read the next part. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and Ming are friends from the international school. Ming families wanted to do something special for Yang. So they invited him to go to, on their family vacation to Ving Wonder in Yachang. Yang was really excited. And he asked Ming what is the best ride were in Ving Wonders. In Ming's opinion, the swings are a lot of fun because the seats are really high up and the air feels really cool in summer. Okay, and then um, Tommy, are you there? Yeah. 
Tommy, can you read part two? It's this one here. Yes, I will read that. Okay. Bring us a loving waterfall. Make sure you bring a swimming suit because we will probably spend a whole day just at the waterfall. And then we go and get some fresh seafood for dinner in Yantra. Get smile and respond. This sounds like it's going to be a great trip. Very I think so too. I'm really excited. Yeah, nice intonation, Tommy. I think so too. I'm really excited. All right. Let's see. We did Tommy and Bear. And let's see. Um, Anna Lee, would you like to read half here? Or Jack and Min? Oh, Anna Lee disappeared. Okay. <laughs> okay. Anna Lee. okay. Jack and Ming are friends in the international school. Ming's family wanted to do something special for Jack, so they invited him to go on their family vacation to Vin Wonders in Nechang. Jack was really excited, and he asked Ming what, what the best rides were at Vin Wonders. In Ming's opinion, the swings are a lot of fun because the seas are really high up in the air. Feels really cool in the summer. Nice, Annalie. You have your own style of reading. That sounds really good. Um, let me see. Is Kevin, are you still there, Kevin? Is Mr. Kevin here? Yes, yes. Kevin, can you read this part here? It says, Min also loves. Uh... Well, uh, Min also loved the water park. He told Jack, make sure you bring a swimming suit because we will, we will, we will probably spend a whole day just at the water park. And then we will go and get some fresh seafood for dinner in Yachang. Jack smiled and they smile and 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 this one. Yeah. This sounds like like it's going to be a great trip, man. Man, enjoy it back. I think so too. I'm really, I'm really excited. Yeah, nice work, Kevin. I'm really excited. Very nice. All right, you guys, so that's the homework. I'm going to put that homework in yellow for you to see. I think it's said, that. yes, who is that? Uh, it's Ken. Hey, Ken, do you want to read, uh, Ken? Uh, no, uh, I just want to say that I have seen this uh, homework in Zalo. You've seen this homework already in Yalo? Yes, I have seen this homework. Oh, you've already sent it. Oh my gosh, you're so fast. You got Ken, you're so fast. Was it easy for you to read? Uh, yes. Yeah, okay. So it's just one paragraph, Bear and Tommy and Kevin. Annalie, you guys all did a great job. I tried to call on each of you. Um, Diana, Victor, Oliver, Candy, Kwang Tai. You all had a chance to speak three or four times so I could really hear your accent. And it sounds really good, you guys. Um, just be careful on your P word. There was one final P word in this, water park. So we have to make a strong P and probably and water park. So today's focus, try to get that strong P sound because in Thailand and Vietnam, Cambodia, Laos, it's a soft P. You say water bark, bark, it's park, park, okay? So try a strong P for me in your homework, okay? Any questions, Candy and Victor, Kwang Tai, Oliver, Diana, Ken? Do you guys have any questions? Tommy, Bear, Kevin, what happened to little Oliver? Oliver, where did you go? <laughs> All right. All right, you guys, I'll say goodbye to you. And I'll put the homework in Yaolo for you, okay? So can I say goodbye to you? Bye-bye, everyone. Uh Bye-bye. Bye-bye, teacher. Bye -bye, See you again. Bye-bye, Diana. Bye-bye, Kevin. Bye-bye, Victor.